you're there. I got nothing left. No power. No... no nothing. You tried to warn me. I was an idiot. Yeah, uh, I, I think people already uh, cl clicked off the video at this point. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Skaboopy. The one and only Skaboopy. Here once again with another Spider-Man game. Edging of time, wait, edge of time. Unlike Shadow Dimensions, we only have two Spider-Men this time around. Not only that, but there's some new costumes that are presented here that go on to be in most, if not, the rest of the Spider-Man games. They start out right here. It's pretty cool. So while I throw what I generally think about these costumes here yet again on the screen, uh, I'm going to tell you that this time we're going to skip over me talking about the game and try to go right to the costumes this time. I don't really have much to say about Edge of Time. The stuff I do want to talk about, I'll just quickly throw out there my general feelings and what I found interesting or whatever. I'll try not to make it too long because these costumes are pretty darn interesting. So skip ahead if you want to look at the costumes. Lastly, thanks to anyone who stopped by to watch the stream. You're never obligated to pop in, pop out whenever you want. I'm not funny all the time to uh, fill your dopamine rush, you know? So yeah, let's just get right into the video and... What? Oh, oh that? Well, you know, it's just there to subliminally mess with your mind and make you subscribe and like my video. You don't like it? <laughs> Jesus! Fuck, okay, I won't do, do it ever again. Jeez, I'll just... Why you ask it later in the video? Oh, my fucking ears are ringing. You need a better plan. Listen, man. He w he had to do it for the movie, okay? He had. It was just a part of the role, okay? So what if he had to take it? You know, it was probably like super important for the story too. You know. Alright, so to try to speed run my thoughts, uh, I think I share the same feelings as everyone when it comes to the story. It's really good, and it kept me wanting to play so that I can see the next cutscene. I really enjoy them like bickering and arguing, but you know, they get along, it's great. You can't mean that. You can't just ignore that she's in danger. Hey, I'm trying to focus on what's important. What's important is not standing by and allowing someone to suffer or die because you do nothing. If you don't get that, then you don't get the first thing about being Spider-Man. If this scene or dialogue isn't like brought into or referenced in Beyond the Spider-Verse, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Plus, I thought it was totally badass that Miguel was throwing around Venom like a chew toy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter was fighting for his fucking life. Alright, on to the gameplay, um, honestly, I thought it was kind of boring in the beginning. It felt lacking, that is, until I started getting the upgrades, and later on, I was hitting the breakdance team on these fools all the time. Breakdown! Too easy! I was also hitting those Crash Bandicoot spins all the time, too. 2099's gameplay was a lot more fun than Peter's, and that's a little sad, but what can you do, you know? And, uh, I don't know, I, th I think it would have been cooler if the final boss was some kind of like hand-to-hand -hand combat with the main villain, but I understand if they couldn't do that, considering the time constraints they were trying to do with this game. Like, I, I don't know how long they were making this game for, but I don't think it was that long. And the music department in this game, you're gonna be hearing the same thing over and over again. There's nothing to really pick out and choose, or nothing that piqued out my interest, unlike Shadow Dimensions. Bummer. But that's about it. So, with that said, let's move on to the costumes. See? I told you it wouldn't take that long this time. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Maybe. Okie doke, fellas. Like I said, the costumes in this game are pretty neato, and unlike the last game where there was only really three costumes given to each Spider-Man, there's more to go through now that it's just two. Well, that's the theory that I'm posing. We'll just find out when we go through them. And I'm gonna go in order from Peter, then to Miguel, then Peter, and so on. You follow me? Alright, as always, we'll look at the default costumes they're given. Uh, I would explain myself in the last video that you watched. You watched it, right? And yeah. <clears throat> if you excuse me, we're gonna need to cut the lights for this one. So, we've seen a lot of classic Spidey looks, if you've been watching this series along with me. If not, all of them were decent, 
or just good, amazing even. However, this game introduces one of the best classic Spider-Man costumes that I've ever witnessed. It's so good. Now, of course, I'm just some random schmuck. I don't have the say on which is the best and which it isn't. But let me tell you, man, this is a really good variation on the classic look. Because it's built for the setting of this game. Think back to Web of Shadows when that game did its classic look. So let's take a look at this costume. The webbing pattern on this thing is messy but feels kinda authentic. Feels real in a way and it works because the tone of this game can get serious. Especially when you see the suit get torn over time. The webbing pattern just adds on to the torn screwed up look later on. I think it would've worked just as well if it was a normal pattern but with this messy version it gives the Spider-Man a little bit of a serious vibe, even though he's still cracking jokes and being Spider-Man. But he looks even more serious later on when he's all screwed up, like in this cutscene. The future depends on my future is meaningless without her. This is gonna be a huge mistake. I only make it big time. This costume also has my favorite kinds of lenses, where it's big and kind of wide, raised black lining at the top, I, I don't know what you call those around the lenses, you know, the black part. And that blank look, I swear, it's one of my favorite parts of any costume that has it. Sometimes, it brings no expression. It can look menacing and serious in that case. The guy who's gonna stop your plans. Good luck with that. But, it can also be expressive just as well, when Spidey nods. It rides up in the crotch a little bit too. Tilts his head. I feel it works better when his mouth moves through the mask with the blank expression. I, I, I just love that so much. You can't get that same feeling when the lenses move like Tom Holland's Spider-Man and even the PS4 Spidey. I don't mind those, but I, I prefer the, again, blank expression. And if I have to add anything about the costume getting ripped further and further into the game, it's awesome. Again, I love seeing Spidey costumes getting messed up. I probably shouldn't have made it a 10 in the Enter Electro video. Sorry, I was just hyped up when I saw it and when I recorded. My bad. Overall, I don't have anything else to add about this costume. It doesn't really change the whole look and vibe of a normal classic Spider-Man besides the webbing. And that's a good thing. It's sometimes why I have a hard time rating these classic Spidey looks because there isn't much to say, but this costume is really special and my favorite out of all of them so far. So this is a 10 and I don't think I'll be changing my mind. All right, with all that yapping out of the way, I think I'm gonna spend a little less time talking about 2099 from this game. To talk about this 2099 suit is a little difficult because I think it's the exact same one from Shadow Dimensions. It's a sequel and all that, so it makes sense to reuse it. Plus, I don't think they need to change the suit at all, um, unlike Peter in this game. Because, I mean, how can you change this awesome design you already got? Much from what I said in Shadow Dimensions video, I think applies here, and I don't want to repeat myself. I just like everything about this costume in the last game and in this game. And I like that glow effect that goes for his body, which is lost in the PS4 Spider-Man game. As well as, I believe, the cool edges and the padding here and there, like the backside of this guy looks cool as hell because he doesn't have a back logo usually to define his back but hey they fixed that except they added this light blue spider on his back it's kind of the same design from the front i'm still a little confused on why they, they added that and i'm still even more confused on how to feel about it probably because you're looking at this guy's back the entire time but like i, I don't know So I'm gonna rate this costume another easy 10. Don't worry, there's gonna be some stinkers in this game to look at, don't worry. But yeah, I just love this like armored kind of look with all that padding and raised edges into the suit that give the feel this costume is just a huge big upgrade that's from the future, yet still looking like a Spider-Man. I remember this suit had to grow on me just a little bit before I actually started to like it. So, when one of the Fantastic Four members died, Johnny Storm, who is the Human Torch, they needed a new member. And so, Spider-Man joined them, changing all of their costumes to black and white look and calling themselves the Future Foundation. I gotta say though, this look is very, how do you say, sleek? I, I like how the black part really defines his physique a little bit more, where his sides are to show off his slender look. But of course, you know, he still looks strong as hell. That new logo design from the front 
connects toward the back, connecting all of the black together. Sort of like how the symbiote the, uh, costume does it under the armpit, but this goes over the shoulder. I don't really mind the black being segmented here and there. It makes me wonder how it would look if there was just no cuts. Probably nothing different. Now there's one thing this costume does strangely, and it gives Spidey bulging lenses. And it's a little weird, t to me at least. I got used to it, but I think he would have looked just as fine with normal black eyes, and this game actually does that. It sort of bulges out a bit, but not too much, and I, I think I prefer this more. If you ever wanted a black and white look for Spidey, well here you go. It's the only costume I don't have in Fortnite, and I'm still depressed over that fact. <sighs> Well, besides wanting to die, um, I'd give this costume another solid 10. They did very well translating this costume to the game for the first time. I myself wouldn't wear it all the time, but it's definitely a sick ass look. This costume doesn't have an official name to it, so people call it the Big Time Costume because the storyline when the suit was featured was called Big Time. And this costume was made to combat the Hobgoblin Sonic Screams. It has two modes. The green mode is camo, you know, stealthy. While the red one is for the Sonic attacks to defend itself against. I know there are people who are fans of this suit. Uh, probably towards the green version, but in Edge of Time they only have the red one. I mean, I, I think it's a fine design. Really, it's a neon lit Spider-Man. Kinda Tron-esque. But I don't see anything else going on besides just the bright neon aesthetic. The front of this costume froze me off a little bit though. It's supposed to sort of resemble a spider, but it has these two blocky arrows instead and then it flows, out, flows throughout the body. Honestly, I'm not really into that kind of design. You can ignore it though, because uh, what's going on in the back is a lot more cooler. And since you're going to be looking at this guy's back the entire time, it's alright. The glowing curvy white eyes really sell the suit more I'd say. And when you're running around doing combat moves with the suit on, it's really not all that bad and fits with the future aesthetic. I don't have much to say about this costume, maybe next time when this suit appears again. There really wasn't much to say about, you know, the black part of all this costume, besides, you know, it defining his arms, you know, his pegs, abs, and collarbone a little. There's like a bit of a carbon, like, mesh going on, on this, on the black part, but that's, that's all I can say. But I'm gonna give this suit a 7. I think the green stands out much more than the red if I had to guess. So if you want a neon look, this'll do the job. Before I talk about this costume, there's some cool lore behind this suit. Whether it's canon or not, I, I gotta tell you. So apparently in the description of this costume, this Peter from Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time acquired this suit due to an anomaly caused by the events of Shattered Dimensions, where I guess he was transported to the Shattered Dimensions Ultimate Universe where he met Miles Morales. Which means, I guess it's canonical that Shattered Dimensions Ultimate Peter died by now and Miles took his place. Damn. Anyways, Miles' suit is a very cool variation of a Spider-Man costume. It's his own thing, yet takes the mantle and title of Spider-Man. He rocks the red and black look that I'm sure a lot of people enjoy, with the white lenses accompanying it all like a cherry on top. I don't even mind the fingerless glove thing going on there. The webbing isn't red like the rest of the costume, but that's just me pointing it out. As well as some wrinkling going on in certain parts of the body, but they don't stand out and I think they just add to the look. There really isn't much else to point out again because everything below the upper body is nothing really and that's totally fine. There doesn't need to be anything else, I don't think to make it complicated and such. If I had a fraud a complaint really, it's just a back logo. I'm iffy on it, but it's a probably it's probably a me thing. A little too stretched for my liking I suppose. To quickly throw out a rating for this suit, I I'd say it's a 10, but are are you guys okay with me just throwing 10s everywhere? Like I see nothing wrong with this suit at all. And the one thing I do have is just be is just me being a nitpicky Nancy. Like I said, there will be some questionable costumes when we get there. But this one is a pretty darn great costume for another staple Spider-Man character. So usually this is where I will show off the costume with a title and everything, but we've already seen this guy before. It's the 1602 Spider-Man. And the reason why I'm talking here is because there's no change that I really see here from Shadow Dimensions to this game. Except 
it's not as flipping dark as it was in the in the noir levels. So you can probably admire this costume. Also, this is an unlockable suit, so technically I still have to talk about it a little. You'll see what I mean later on. But I'm pretty sure what I've said in the last video applies here. It's a very interesting design. A 1600 Spidey wearing a 1600 look. Those old timey ass shoes, the weird neck thing people used to wear. And uh, he's got those like shoulder blades that stick out a little, which I kind of like. Also, I thought he wasn't wearing gloves. I thought those were his pasty white hands, but it's white gloves. And I enjoyed no, the, the no lenses look. Again, you don't see that often, and I think it works best when it's like a homemade kind of outfit, or you know, for example, when it's an old timey kind of look. But there's one thing that's confusing me here, and it's, it's 2099 is wearing it and not Peter. And I think it would have made sense for Peter wearing it, but I, I guess I kind of get what they were going for. Like, look, it's the future guy wearing the 1600 costume, but like technically, Peter would be the one in the past present really but you get what I mean and I, and I feel it would have fit him more than 2099. Either, either way I'm gonna keep this guy at a 7 like before. He's the definition of neat. Like huh what a neat costume. Probably not gonna wear it but interesting. Even though he's not wearing your typical Spider-Man costume he still looks like a Spider-Man. But um yeah this is definitely the last time you're gonna see this guy. I'm pretty sure after this he will be forgotten. But I won't forget you 1602 Spider-Man, I won't. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I much prefer wearing this than the big time costume from earlier if I wanted that Tron-esque neon look for this game. So, when Peter lost his spider sensibility, he wore this suit, which pretty much protects him from firearms. But God damn Pete, you didn't need to make this costume look so clean. Let's start off with the mask, with those slanted curvy eyes, sort of menacing looking. It loops to the back of his head to connect both of the eyes, but can we talk about the shape of his mask? It's more like a helmet now, but he just looks so cool. The shape of it especially around his mouth area, a little curved in and gives off a sharp edged look. The vibrant neon look I feel flows pretty nicely, especially on the front and I find it much better than the big time costume. Plus the choice of color, which I think they try to go for the yellow look, but instead it's orange. And he still looks badass, you know? I don't mind, I don't mind a different color change on this guy. I love how the highlighted collar around his neck is also, you know, with the neon. That's my favorite part about this costume, that popped collar. Not only that though, but there's that carbon fiber look that I love so much underneath his arms and side. It's more grayer though, and I feel if it was darker, it would have looked cooler, but it stands out as it is and I greatly enjoy it. It's just giving more to the suit in that armor feeling. I don't know what to say man, he just looks so fucking cool. It's unreal and fits with 2099 Spider-Man so much and his combat that, that I, I gotta just give this one a 10 as well. It could be a 9, and I might just be smitten about this costume, but you can't deny the cool factor on this suit. So, it's a 10. Ah, uh, this costume. We we've seen this costume a few times, but I think so far, this one's a pretty decent interpretation of the suit. I think Intellectual did its version way better though, but this is a good one. And I've already explained that he got this costume by entering the negative zone, warping his costume to a black and white look. Now, you may be thinking, this might be a recolor of the Edge of Time Spider-Man, but it's actually not. Different logo, arms, and eyes too. It's not even the same one from Shadow Dimensions either. Especially where it was much more grayer, where the white was, here it's, it's a lot more whiter. Better representing from the comic while also being slightly different too. I think the logo on this guy is pretty cool, and you can barely notice the webbing on this guy. It's there, but very faint. I like it though. Like the comics where you saw no webbing, it's like that if you think about it. And now that I think about it, uh, in Shadow Dimensions, they gave it webbing. And it was okay, but I, I, I so much prefer this. They gave him wider curved lenses that are close together, which is pretty cool and I believe unique to this costume. Not only that, there are some wrinkles going on under his arm and leg. Uh, again, it's just more added detail to give off this feel, it's a costume. It's another black and white look for Spidey in this game, you know, but a lot more darker. 
and I find this version better than the reused color they had for Shattered Dimensions. So I'm gonna bump this guy up to an 8 from there. Why not a 9 or a 10? Well, I feel 8 fits it perfectly where it is. It's not the most amazing design ever, right? And again, it doesn't need to be. Even though it's not a copy and paste of the classic spine in this game, told me to pick and choose between Future Foundation and this, I pick Future Foundation. Sorry if I'm not giving a good argument, but I think an 8 fits perfectly for this guy right here. I never get tired of seeing this costume, it pops up more here and there than I realized. As you know, this is Ben Riley, clone of Peter Parker who took over for a period of time and wore this sick costume. Except those lenses of his, they seem a bit too big, even for me who likes big bug eyes, but these eyes are a little too buggy for me, a little bulgy as well, but at least they gave the blue a bit of a texture if you look closely, which is a pretty neat detail. <sighs> but honestly, when I take a look at this costume, it reminds me of one of those mods where they import costumes into Spider-Man games, <laughs> like Shattered Dimensions. You know what I'm saying? I feel this costume fits better in Shattered rather than Edge of Time. Also, again, why give this one to 2099 as well? I guess it does look neat when you got Ben Riley and Spider-Man talking, and when he's carrying him like the Jonkler. So, I'll give you a pass on that. Also, I noticed the shape of his head is a little weird, where his cheekbones are and mouth area. Which I believe the reason is because of Miguel's head shape is different, so that's why. Sorry if I didn't talk too much about this costume. It's a spin on the Spider-Man look and a very good one at that. He looks so cool in the comics that it makes me want him to look just as cool in the games. And this one is alright. Could be better. I've seen better in the Wii version of Web of Shadows. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. But to be nice, it's a 7. Wow, uh, didn't expect to see this guy, like, ever. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's a welcome surprise or not. B basically, I guess you could call this his first ever costume. Well, he only wore it the one time when he rustled before actually wearing his costume. For novelty's sake, it it's okay, and need to have this costume, like, featured at all. There's a good reason, though, they don't really bring this back. It's, it's just not that, um... Anything? Sure, comic accuracy, whatever, but like, I'm not gonna wear this, nor am I really looking forward to seeing this reappear again in the future. It's not all that interesting besides the mask going on. That's the only thing I find charming about this costume. I like the shocker pattern that's going on, and the two black dots for eyes. It's a little goofy, but what do you want me to say about the rest? Oh wow, nice turtleneck, and ooh, cool jeans. You got that at Old Navy? Thankfully, I think this is the only game so far to feature this costume, as I'd rather much prefer seeing other unique and cool looking costumes. Like, I would prefer seeing 1602 over this, and if you had to tell me to pick my favorite homemade kind of costume like this, it would be the human spider look. I love how vibrant that costume was, but this one, it's honestly a 5. It's not hurting anybody, and it mostly serves as a callback, so that's why it's a 5 in my book. But with that costume out of the way, I think the next one for 2099 is gonna be really cool. I wonder what they picked. Okay, not what I expected, but I'll hold my thoughts when we look at this costume further. It's kind of one of those deep cut references, and thankfully, the description tells you where the suit first appeared. So the cliff notes are, 2099 Spider-Man got mind controlled by Hydra, along with a few other guys, and he wore this briefly before regaining control. But um, where do I start? I guess by saying that this costume is a little too green, and you're probably telling me it's Hydra colors, dude. But man, can't they have like another color from the spectrum to add on here? Or is it just gonna ruin their color rep? So I suppose if you really enjoy the color green and you're like, man, I, I wish there was a Spider-Man costume that was just primarily green colors. Here you go, I guess. I will say though, there are some cool things, like the wrappings around his arms, from his bicep to his hands. It looks pretty cool, and I like the shape of where his eyes are too. Besides that, this suit is lacking to say the least, and I've seen costumes that can lack in detail, but still look good. This one just isn't it for me. 
Especially with that light avocado green to complement the darkish green is sort of bugging me, man. Especially his lower body. So, you're never seeing this one again. Odd choice of a pick in my opinion, but it is a 2099 costume technically, and it's not the worst thing I've ever seen truthfully. To all the people who like the color green, you can say this is like a freaking 8 or 9, but for me, I'm giving this one a 5. There's some cool stuff same in this costume, but it's honestly just boring everywhere else, apart from his arm wrappings and his eye shape. Whew, okay, that was two odd costumes out of the way. How about we look at something more familiar? Golly gee man, this is going to be another 10. Just look at him, looks so good. You already know the symbiote suit, we all like it, never misses most of the time, and this is no exception. The immediate detail I noticed was this sort of blue gloss over the suit, highlighting the dark. Looks fantastic during cutscenes where it gets to shine, while it looks normal in certain other areas though. The lenses I believe are the same ones from the classic look from earlier, though a little farther apart, still being accented by what's around the white. And of course, the logo, they didn't change it much, they didn't need to, still looks just as great, there's creases on his arms and around his body, and I always keep forgetting to talk about the white hand patches, it's also one of my favorite things if that's just there, and I get sad if I ever see it's gone, thankfully though, it's right there. This is definitely one of those costumes I would wear for sure, except for another one, which we will get to later. Without wasting any time, this is a bona fide 10, and I'll hear no objections. Alright, 2099 can't miss this one. Come on. Alright, what the fuck? This is a very, uh kind of weird one. I guess to start, I'll explain where this guy came from. He's from a what-if scenario, where in the main timeline, Peter was given a choice to be resurrected by a huge spider, but in this timeline, he rejected the spider and killed it too. So he stayed in this web cocoon under the bridge until Venom came to find Peter, resurrecting him into poison. Now, he looks kinda cool in these panels, right? But if we switch over to the game... Um... What, what happened? I guess it was a little hard to translate and bring the suit to the game. In the comic, he had some lighting to help him, though admittedly he's still kinda a little gross, but with no lighting and such, he ends up looking more gross here too. Honestly, it's just his face and that open mouth of his. I guess he sorta looks Venom-like and has unique symbols, especially across his back which I can appreciate, but the entire time I think he's just a little lame. Doesn't help with that gaping mouth of his and the weird veiny white parts that are good here and there, but around certain areas look... ill. There isn't much else to really go over for Poison here, and he ends up looking goofy and lame and so forth. You actually unlock this costume along with two other suits from a code you get on the website. I didn't know about it until this chatter just came randomly out of nowhere with codes, so thanks dude, wherever you came from. I think it's best for everybody and myself if I put this guy at a 4. I could easily put him at a 3, but I don't want to be that much of a dick. It's his first time, maybe they'll do better next time. But if you guys want to see a really cool suit with a cool backstory, check this one out. Assassin Spider-Man, ooh boy, can't wait to talk about this guy. Let's start with how he became this way. After throwing a super hard punch that was meant for Wolverine, he accidentally killed a woman, who really wanted to die anyways and just provoked Spidey for the final blow. This is actually canon, and he went home afterwards thinking about it, but in this what-if scenario, he stayed behind when Wolverine asked for some more help. Along the way, he again accidentally killed a supervillain, but it was all downhill from there being trained to kill. His spider sense is actually elevated so much more, he just knows things that, that are going to happen. And the coolest thing about this guy, webs aren't the only thing shooting out of his arms. Webs? Ha! You're right. Sorry if that took a little long, it was kind of cringy. I just sometimes like hyping stuff up and nerding about these characters. Besides that, he has a killer look. 
all black below besides his pouches and the red line going across his belt area. Everything above, however, is pretty sweet. A unique logo to him that wraps across his shoulder to meet the one in the back. A more skinnier spider on the front, which I think fits this guy just right. As well as those completely dark eyes, devoid of any emotions besides just looking a little angry. And another thing, I wouldn't be surprised if this costume was inspired by the Alex Ross concept, or even the Superior Spider-Man look. Maybe Assassin Spider-Man actually inspired Superior, but I don't remember anything when Superior became a thing, so it might be one way or the other, so I don't know, I don't remember. I will say, I really do like this design a lot. It's translated very well into the game, but I'm trying to find any reason to not make this a 10, because I feel like there is an issue, but I just can't find it. So I'm gonna stick this guy in a 10, but let me know if you have any discrepancies about this suit. But we're all here to have fun, and I think this suit is pretty cool enough. Now, let's move on to the last costume, and my favorite. Listen, I had to put the Max Payne theme for this guy. It fits. Gotta give respect to my favorite costume, too. And I'm still having trouble wondering why I love this costume. I'll explain his origin a little more quickly this time. But Spider-Man was sent to this version of himself briefly during a kerfuffle where he saw this trench coat Spider-Man for the first time. He was a little old, filled with guilt as he stands over Aunt May's grave before the entire police and SWAT team came for him, in which he accepts it, and fights all of them at once before being shot and dead. Apparently, it all started when he killed Craven, then it just spiraled out of there. I think I like this costume because of the Peter who is behind it. Assassin Spider-Man got used to killing and think he's doing right by it, but Last Stand I don't think ever did and does what he has to, even killing Doc Ock. But I don't think he ever got used to it, being guilt ridden, becoming this anti-hero Spider-Man, not wearing his traditional uniform to represent that. A red and black trench coat which is so damn cool, the pop collar and everything, fitted with his own front logo and a fat spider on his back, which I don't mind, would feel empty back there if there wasn't any logo at all. But the mask I enjoy a lot. With the black around his lenses is much thicker, and without any webbing, I feel makes his eyes stand out even more. The lenses are a little wider, sharper. I, I feel those lenses are the only thing you could say is left of the old Spidey, except it's definitely more of a dead barren look on those eyes much more now. I love how they look in the comic panels too especially. Everything below his coat, I suppose you could say it's lazy. Just dark leather pants, which is fine, but come on, the boots are cool. Can you imagine getting kicked in the face by like steel-toed boots? Won't be pretty, that's for sure. So after all that yapping, what the frick am I gonna rate this thing? I don't wanna be biased or anything, but this guy feels lifted straight out of the comics into the game, and I couldn't be more happier. So for me, it's a 10. However, I feel it is either an 8 or a 9 if I had to think about it generally. So there you go. Now quickly before I yap on some more, if you have a saved data file from Shadow Dimensions, you get most of the suits from that game in this one. Really cool. I didn't feel like looking at them again honestly, even though there might be some minor details that changed. I technically already rated them in the last video, but now you get both cosmic outfits in here, so that's cool I guess. But that'll be it for this one. Some cool, strange, and staple costumes that will reappear again in future titles. I hope you generally enjoyed me just looking at these costumes, and some of the stuff I talked about the default costume of Peter in this game came from Amazing PSM's video. I legit took notes in my little notebook when I was watching that video, but check that out if you want to like, see what makes for a good default, like classic spider look. Besides all that, I hope this video came off really good. Not a bad start for the new year, right? Well, don't forget to check out what I did before this video came out. And if you want to follow me on any of my socials, I make little shorts. They're pretty funny. Probably. I've been Skaboopy, the one and only Skaboopy. I'll see you guys later.